Okay, guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the symbol BLSP. And as you guys uh, are well aware, uh, this is a stock that uh, just came off suspension about three weeks ago. And let's take a look at the chart. We know that they haven't had news for, I guess, about two years now. And I've done a number of videos to include going to their uh, facility to check on the headquarters here in Charlotte to visiting the site uh, that doesn't bear their name. It may be some sort of partnership that they're uh, under. And, uh, and I've had great, a great deal of success trading the stock. Um, I'll post some old videos in here that talk about it. But as we can see from the, the monthly chart, this is flatlined forever. This is going back to December of 2018. And we're just flatlined, flatlined until we had this little blip here with the volume spike. And then everyone started trading it. You know, I made lots of money coming up, down, let me make this bigger. Everyone started trading it and if it ran up, you should have taken your money because there was no news and there was all this speculation that the Biden administration was going to be pro uh, renewable energy. And then we had a consolidation back down and then we had a, an, another run. And so you could have made money going up the first time back down and back up. And then the stock got suspended and uh, you know a lot of people were kind of trapped in it. Let's take a look at the weekly. You can see that scenario play out, up, down, up, down, suspended. Uh, histograms are now moving towards the positive with this last two or three days of it rising. Stock needs to get through the uh, point. Uh, let's see here, let me make this bigger. needs to really clear point, uh, zero, zero, five, nine right in here, but it needs to be trading in probably the mid sixes to confirm a new pattern. Let me take a look here. Yeah, it needs to be about six, two, six, three with some good volume to let us know that we're heading higher. Uh, there's no news that I have seen um, I hear lots of speculation online, but no news. So if we go way back here from a resistance standpoint or a support standpoint, we can take this all the way back uh, to this area here back in the, in the beginning of January. So a lot of support here in this range where we're at now. We simply need to break through this range with good volume to head higher. Um, I've cautioned you guys that did not sell the first time or did not make money the first time. Certainly be wary of uh, taking profits this time. Here's your overhead uh, double top resistance right here at 0 0.03. You got it right here. You have it right here. So if this stock runs up to right there again, people will remember the first two times. And so we'll have to punch through that and go higher. The company needs to put out some sort of news. Uh, as far as uh, should you buy it now if you don't own it, that's certainly up to you. It has run the last uh, three sessions. We're up from, uh, let me take a closer look. We're up from uh, a low here on 416, uh, 0.0018. Now we're up to 0 0.0058. That's about uh, three and a half times your money, roughly. Uh, it's a, a really nice gain in three days uh, for those of you that, that owned it or bought it here. So uh, remember, you can't go broke taking profits. You know, there's nothing wrong with taking some of the money off the table. Um, but again, you know, if you're holding for higher highs, then you might want to use a very, very tight stop to protect your gain. So if we take a look at, you know, this area, you know, if, if you're if you want to protect the money in here, then put a stop uh, loss limit in here. So if the stock comes back down, it'll automatically sell. So 
word of advice, uh, it's, uh, you know, consider taking some of your money when you have it, uh, because still at this point, there's still no news. Hope this information helps and uh, we shall see you guys in the next video.